Unit 5, Lesson 3, Adding and Subtracting Decimals with Few Non-Zero Digits. Number 1. Here is a base 10 diagram that represents 1 and 13 hundredths. Use the diagram to find 1 and 13 hundredths minus 46 hundredths. Explain how you found the difference or label your diagram to show your steps. The blue diagram represents 1, the green diagram represents one-tenth, and the three red diagrams represent three-tenths. Since we're supposed to be subtracting 46 hundredths, we'll take away four-tenths and six hundredths. I've outlined four-tenths in yellow and six hundredths in yellow. And since we're subtracting them, we'll remove them from the group. That leaves us with six-tenths or sixty hundredths plus seven hundredths. 60 hundredths plus 7 hundredths equals 67 hundredths. So the answer to the subtraction problem 1 and 13 hundredths minus 46 hundredths equals 67 hundredths. Number 2. Compute the following sums. If you get stuck, you can draw base 10 diagrams. A. 27 thousandths plus 4 thousandths. 27 thousandths plus four thousandths equals thirty-one thousandths. In this diagram, I've combined the seven thousandths with four thousandths, totaling eleven thousandths, and I bundled up ten of those eleven and turned them into one hundredth, with one thousandth remaining. Three hundredths, or thirty thousandths, plus one thousandths equals thirty-one thousandths. B. 203 thousandths plus one tenth. The blue shapes represent a tenth and the red shapes represent thousandths. 203 thousandths plus one tenth equals 303 thousandths. C. 1 and 2 tenths plus 145 thousandths. I decided not to draw diagrams this time, but to line up the decimals and add them vertically. First I brought the 5 down in the thousandths place, then I brought the 4 down in the hundredths place. I add 2 tenths plus 1 tenth and I get 3 tenths. I bring down the decimal. 1 plus 0 equals 1, so 1 and 2 tenths plus 145 thousandths equals 1 and 345 thousandths. Number 3. A student said we cannot subtract 1 and 97 hundredths from 20 because 1 and 97 hundredths has two identical digits and 20 has none. Do you agree with his statement? Explain or show your reasoning. I disagree because 1 and 97 hundredths is 197 hundredths and 20 is 2000 hundredths. So 2000 hundredths minus 197 hundredths equals 1,803 hundredths, or 18 and 3 hundredths. Number 4. Decide which calculation shows the correct way to find 3 tenths minus 6 thousandths, and explain your reasoning. I selected D because the decimals were lined up properly, and the 3 is in the tenths place, and the 6 is in the thousandths place. Also, it shows the correct answer because 300 thousandths minus 6 thousandths is 294 thousandths. Number 5. Complete the calculations so that each shows the correct difference. A. 142 and 6 tenths minus 1 and 4 tenths. That equals 141 and 2 tenths. B. 38 and 6 tenths or 38 and 60 hundredths, minus 6 and 75 hundredths. The difference is 31 and 85 hundredths. C. 241 and 76 hundredths, minus 2 and 18 hundredths. The difference is 239 and 58 hundredths. Number 6. The school store sells pencils for 30 cents each, hats for $14.50 each, and binders for $3.20 each. 
Elena would like to buy three pencils, a hat, and two binders. She estimated that the cost will be less than $20. A. Do you agree with her estimate? Explain your reasoning. Well, I've lined up the decimals of the items that she'd like to purchase, and I just added up the dollars, and the dollars already came to 20 so I disagree. Already some of her purchases total up to $20, and there are still more costs to add up. B. Estimate the number of pencils she could buy with $5. Explain or show your reasoning. Well, if pencils are 30 cents each, she could buy 10 pencils for $3, 5 pencils for $1.50, and another pencil for 30 cents. That would be 16 pencils for $4.80. So with $5, she could buy 16 pencils. Number 7. A rectangular prism measures 7.5 centimeters by 12 centimeters by 15.5 centimeters. A. Calculate the number of cubes with edge length 1.5 centimeters that fit in this prism. I've drawn a cube that is 1 centimeter by 1 centimeter by 1 centimeter, and I see that these half inch centimeter edge cubes can fit inside it 8 times. This represents the rectangular prism. 7.5 centimeters by 12 centimeters by 15.5 centimeters. It has an area of 1,395 centimeters cubed. Since eight of those smaller cubes fit into a 1 centimeter by 1 centimeter by 1 centimeter cube eight times, all I have to do is 1,395 times eight, and it tells me that you can fit 11,160 of those tiny cubes into the prism. B, what is the volume of the prism in centimeters? Show your reasoning. If you are stuck, think about how many cubes with one half inch centimeters edge lengths fit into one centimeter cube. I already discovered that. The volume is seven and a half times 12 times 15 and a half, 1,395 centimeters cubed. Number eight, at a constant speed, a car travels 75 miles in 60 minutes. How far does the car travel in 18 minutes? If you get stuck, consider using the table. They've already told us that in 60 minutes, the car can travel 75 miles. Let's divide the 60 by 10 to get six, because I know I can multiply the six times three to get 18. Whatever we do on this column, we must do on the other column. 75 divided by 10 equals seven and five tenths. Now we multiply that by three, and it gives us 22 and five tenths. So the car can travel 22 and 5 tenths miles in 18 minutes. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 5, Lesson 3, Adding and Subtracting Decimals with Few Non-Zero Digits.